Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and access an FTP in Windows 11. First, I'm going to create a folder so all the FTP users can access and then create a user. So let's begin with the folder. I'll create it right here and I'll name it FTP folder. Then I'll create a user. So right click this PC manage local users and groups users on a blank space right click new user here enter the uh, username and password I'll select password never get expires if you're using it on a real environment it might be a little different for you and then click on create close now we have our user created then press the windows key plus r it'll open the run window here type cmd and hit enter on the command prompt type ipconfig hit enter and you'll get the ip address of the windows 11. write it down make a note of it Then go to control panel, view by, select small icons, programs and features, and here select turn windows features on or off. Scroll down until you see internet information services, expand it, FTP server, expand and now select internet information services ftp server ftp extensibility so they all should be checked like that World Wide web web management tool ftp server ftp services i'm sorry ftp service and extensibility once done click on ok to apply the changes close Head back to control panel, Windows tools, Internet Information Services, IIS. Expand the server, right click on sites, add FTP site. Name your site, in this case avoid errors, physical path, select the folder you created, click on OK, next. Binding IP address, I'll select the server IP address. And SSL, I'll select no SSL for this video tutorial, again if you're using it on a real environment make sure you enable SSL. Under authentication, select basic, allow access to. You can select a group, all users, or specified users, or in this case, which is that user we created. So enter the name, in this case it's FTP user, and then set the permissions. Read and write, read only, or just write. Click on finish. And we're done. Now go control panel again. Let's edit the firewall. So go to Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature throughout Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings. Scroll down until you see. FTP server and then to the right enable private and public check mark it and then click OK we are almost done I'll close here and then go back to the folder we created here it is
this. Right click that folder. Properties. Go to security tab. Edit. Add. Advanced. Find now. And look for the FTP user we created. Again. Here it is. Double click to select. OK. And now we can set that user to have full control. Modify, you can edit it here. Apply. OK. OK, now we're done. All we need to do now is restart our new FTP server. Upon restart, we need to access this FTP server from a computer in the LAN. Because if we can't access it from the LAN, we won't be able to access it from the WAN from outside our network. So on another computer in the network, click File Explorer, and here type FTP colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address of the FTP server which is your Windows 11 PC. There it is. Now enter the username and the password you created. Log on. Awesome, we have access to our FTP uh, folder. Now let me see, I'm gonna create a folder here and then refresh on the other end, just to make sure everything is working properly. A refresh. I have to re enter the username and password. Refresh again. And awesome, it's fully functioning. Now let's edit our router to enable WAN access to our FTP. WAN means outside of our network. So Log into your modem and or router. In my case, it's an AT&T modem. I'll go to firewall, NAT and or gaming. The server, the service is FTP. And need it by device. I'll select virtual, which it already has my, the name of the PC. Usually you have to enter everything manually. FTP port 21, the IP address of the PC, and then save. This case is much easier. I'll add. Okay, awesome. Once done, we need the WAN IP address. You can either get it from here, or you can Google what is my IP address, and it should come up really quick. So since you're already here, in my case, I'll go to the broadband tab, and it'll show my one IP address. Now, instead of using that 192, we'll do the exact same thing using that IP. So go to File Explorer from another PC in the network or outside the network. FTP colon forward slash forward slash one IP address. Enter the same, the username and password for the user we created and then log on. There it is. We have access from the one. Now you can easily share files back and forth with anybody up in the world that has access to the internet. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.